In this video, we want to know more about differential equations and their classification. A differential equation is an equation that relates an unknown function and its derivatives, which finds important applications in many disciplines of science and engineering. Differential equations can be divided into different types. An ordinary differential equation, or ODE, is an equation where the unknown is a function of a single independent variable. So, if u is a function of t, let's say time, an OD describing the behavior of u can be defined like this, which is Newton's second law of motion in the presence of drag forces, with u being the displacement. Another example can be the exponential decay equation, with many applications in physics and chemistry to describe kinetics, the solution of which is like this. A partial differential equation, or PD in short, is a differential equation where the unknown is a function of a few independent variables. So a PD contains multivariable functions and their partial derivatives. If u is a function of x and t, let's say space and time, a PD describing U can be like this, which is the famous heat equation with U being the temperature. PDs can be classified into different groups, each of which has its own properties and needs special solution techniques to deal with. In engineering and natural sciences, we usually deal with second-order partial differential equations, meaning that there is no derivative higher than second-order. The equations can be either linear or nonlinear, but we focus on linear equations now. If u is a function of two independent variables x and y, the most general form of a linear second-order partial differential equation can be written like this. Classification is done depending on the coefficients a, b, and c. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, the equation is called an elliptic PDE. If b squared minus 4ac equals 0, the equation is parabolic. And if it is more than 0, the equation is called a hyperbolic PDE. Let's have a look at some examples to see how the PDEs you may have heard about fall into these categories. We can begin with the one-dimensional heat equation with time t and space x being the independent variables. You should notice that there will be no difference in higher dimensions where y and z come into play because we still consider them all as x, the space variable. Take a look at the general form to classify this equation. We may need to rearrange the terms to identify a, b, and c. With a and b being zero, and c being minus alpha squared, b squared minus 4ac is zero, meaning that the heat equation is a parabolic PDE. Another example can be the 2d Poisson equation, where u is a function of different space coordinates, meaning that the function u is stationary and doesn't evolve over time. Comparing the equation with the general form reveals that b squared minus 4ac is negative, demonstrating that the equation is elliptic. The last example is the wave propagation equation, in which u is a function of time and space similar to the heat equation. Again, we rearrange the terms and compare them to the general form, with a being non-zero this time and c being a negative value, b squared minus 4ac is positive, telling us that the equation is a hyperbolic PDE. In the next video, we will have a look at one of the most important parabolic equations, with which we have a lot to do in Tux Riders.